Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. It's your girl Lungu back with another reaction video. If you're new to this channel, make sure to give this video a thumbs up, share it with your friends, and of course, do not forget to subscribe. So today we're going to be doing something that you guys have been asking, needing, and wanting, and we're going to do it the way you guys have been requesting us to do it. So today I'm going to be joined by someone special, someone that means the word to me. <laughs> So, I won't say much because I'm sure you guys are wondering who I'm talking about. So, so I'm going to let the other person introduce themselves. So, without wasting time, don't push me out. Hey, what's up, guys? How are you doing? Actually, she didn't want to introduce me as a. <laughs> as what? Yeah, as. As what? As a boyfriend. But anyway, I'm here. It's been a while. It's been like how many years now? Two years. It's been almost like two years. No, not two and, years uh, exactly though. I think almost, almost yeah, 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 almost like two years. I feel guilty about this, but as you should. Yeah, it doesn't mean that I wasn't doing anything constructive while I was away. I was doing very, very good things, and I was actually, you know, I do so much. I work. I was doing my master thesis and also my coursework and everything. So all those things were just. Um, weighing me down and my energy was just focused on those particular things but right now right about now I'm gonna be here every particular day every? and most most likely <laughs> most likely I'm gonna be Say here every, every other day. day yeah maybe every other day especially uh, sometimes maybe I might be busy she, 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 she might she might not take over you know and she's be doing a great job guys you know keep on supporting her also and supporting the channel too thank you so much for welcoming me back and thank you for 19,000 subscribers yes and also thank you guys you will for... notice we had that much subscribers yeah I saw 19,100 subscribers you guys are amazing man thank you for subscribing uh, we're just spreading the you know the word out there you get it I mean the truth uh, whatever you want to hear whatever you want to listen to take what's the uh, what you can yeah take the most important words you know the bad ones you can throw them out of the window anyway <laughs> anyway guys thank you so much once once again and yeah i'm here and if you want to know more of why i wasn't around you just go check us out on uh, our next sorry on our other we're going channel to be yeah. shooting a video for that one yeah we're a longer version that. of that yeah so um so yeah. you can head over to funny and jesse to point all check out our stuff and just stay tuned yeah thank you so much guys i really really appreciate it. so what are we gonna do today so today we're going to be reacting to finding your true self yeah finding your true self the thing is uh most of the people don't know uh who they are you get it i mean the kind of power you have just by yourself you get it and this is the thing that i've been encountering all by myself throughout one and a half years that I wasn't on this platform I was trying to find myself and uh, finally I found myself I'm not saying that 100% of course it's gonna be, it's not gonna be 100% at least at least 90% and with that it's it's much for me to uh, to know the kind of person I am you know anyway so today's video is all about finding your true self so without any further ado let's get it my brothers my sisters tonight's motivation is for us to become people who know how to disagree with each other we need to really understand disagreements will happen even among the best of people it doesn't make the other person evil we will disagree within our families be polite understand it's okay I can live with you with disagreement and I can be absolutely united you know when we say unity when we say we're not united and suddenly when you see everyone in Makkah making sajda together in Ihram during Hajj what do we say look look how united they are do we not say that do we not say that we see everyone's going to Arafah. Oh, look how united they are. Trust me, they are not united. They are not united at all. I know of people who go for Hajj with a lot of hatred for the others. I know of people who go for Hajj and they really don't like those others who are with them. But they're doing the same thing at the same time. That is not unity, that is uniformity. 
Don't mix the two. Uniformity is never unity. Unity is tolerating the difference that is united. We can be united with everyone with our differences. Why? Because we have a common purpose. Somehow we need to protect this earth. We need to for the sake of our children and our coming generations. Let sanity prevail on earth. As time is passing, as we are progressing technologically, as we are becoming more sophisticated in our education and you know from, from a university degree to a master's to a PhD to a double PhD, subhanallah, we are becoming people who have lost our values and morals. We are becoming people who have lost the ability to interact with people in a respectful way even though they differ very strongly, subhanallah. You can differ strongly, very strongly. I could differ with you totally, completely. I will still acknowledge you. I will greet you. I will respect you. I will smile at you. I will save your life. If your life is in danger, I will make sure that I have served you. Even though I differ totally, I might not agree. So what? So what? Subhanallah. You know, when you're driving down the road and something happens to you, you would expect anyone to stop and assist. Muslim, non-Muslim, tall, short, whoever else. Sometimes we're selective in who we help. That's bad. That's very bad. When the floods strike, they don't just strike people who thought the way you're thinking. They strike everyone. We become human. When something happens, when you have a natural disaster, it affects everyone. We would like to save all of humanity. That's why when Allah speaks of saving lives, He doesn't speak of Muslims. He speaks of nafs, the soul, the people. وَمَنْ أَحْيَاهَا فَكَأَنَّمَا أَحْيَا النَّاسَ جَمِيعًا Whoever saves a single life is, is as good as a person who has saved entire humanity because it's the feeling of the heart. I saved one life. Well, subhanallah, if everyone had to follow that, the world would be a better place. So I pray that inshallah, we can actually differ with respect. And we can actually learn to respect each other, love each other, care for each other, even with our differences. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless you all. Firstly, I believe there is none worthy of worship besides Allah. And Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa is the final messenger. I pray five times a day. I give charity to the poor. I will ensure that I fast during the month of Ramadan. And I make sure that if I can and when I can, I will go for Hajj. And if possible, obviously not from among the pillars, but I will go for Umrah. Because the holy lands are very, very dear to me as a Muslim. I will pray for their safety and security. And I will try my best to connect myself to this beautiful place known as Makkah and Medina because what is dear to me is there. Subhanallah. I'm a Muslim so I will go to the house of Allah as much as I can on a daily basis because it's the house of my maker. Why am I saying this? I'm saying this because all of us are Muslim and for those who may not be Muslim who will be listening to this well I want you to know this is what makes me a Muslim. I'm a Muslim, so I will be polite. I'm a Muslim, so I will be honest. I'm a Muslim, so I consider my dress an act of worship. Whatever I wear, I will ask myself, is this an act of worship? Is this considered an act of worship? If not, I will change it to make sure that it is morally of a very high standard. This is why I always say to my sisters and my brothers who are Muslim, remember you are a Muslim. So your clothing is an act of worship. Do you really feel when you wear your clothes that I am just engaging in an act of worship? If the answer is no, you need to improve your dress. So I'm a Muslim, so I will make sure whatever I wear, I will consider it an act of worship for the sake of the Almighty. May Allah make me strong. May Allah make me strong. Let's go further. I'm a Muslim, so I believe in all the angels. Amazing. I believe that the Almighty has angels. And I believe that these angels have different tasks. Their number is not known by anyone besides Allah. 
and I believe that some of them we are told about, some were not. Some were given what their task was and some were not. For example, we have Jibreel alayhi salam, we have Israfil, we have Mikael, we have some of these angels. They have different tasks. I believe that they are angels. And I believe these angels, they do not disobey Allah. لا يعصون الله ما أمرهم ويفعلون ما يؤمرون. They do not disobey Allah in their in the, His instruction to them, and they do as they are told, and they don't get tired. يسبحون الليل والنهار لا يفترون. They declare the praise of Allah morning and evening and they don't ever stop. There is no pause. They don't get tired according to one of the verses. I'm a Muslim, so I believe in these the years in Makkah al Mukarramah. Did they not suffer persecution? Did they not go through a tough time? Imagine 10 years, people are persecuting you. That's okay. He says, Oh Allah, if you are pleased with me and with us, there is nothing more that we ask for. For as long as you are happy with us, all this is nothing. La ilaha illallah. That is belief, iman, yaqeen, conviction. That is what it is. Have faith. Nabi of Allah sallallahu alayhi wasallam went through 10 years initially of turmoil, turbulence until they were driven out of their homes. Their properties were stolen. Whatever happened, happened. Did they complain to Allah? Not a single day, not one day. They took it in their stride and they said, Oh Allah, you are our Lord. Make easy for us. The Prophet sallallahu alayhi went through so much. Then when they went to Medina, Munawwara, the wars began. Literally, the enmity became open. Open. The wars began. The battle of Badr, the battle of Uhud, the battle of Khandaq, and so many others took place. Who was that? They were playing not with fire, something worse than fire. The most beloved of Allah, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. They were trying to harm the one whom Allah loves the most, the most precious of the lot. What did he say? Sallallahu alayhi wa He says, Oh Allah, my people don't know what they're doing. Guide them. La ilaha illallah. Guide them. My people don't know what they're doing. Did he ever become despondent? Not at all. Don't ever give up. Don't become despondent. And don't be sad. You will be the winners. You will be victorious if you are believers. The Prophet showed us the ingredient of victory of any difficulty comes with patience. The one who's going to have patience for a longer time will always always be the winner even in warfare the person or the one the group that is prepared to be patient even upon loss they will win the prophet says that victory will come to the ones who are more patient subhanallah we have seen it in history and we are witnessing it currently may allah grant us ease are you patient in your own life if you are patient and you continue to worship Allah and you improve yourself, victory will come to you. One day you'll have that business deal you were dreaming about. One day you'll have a job better than the one you were dreaming about. But that one day might come after 10 years. Are you ready to wait? If you're not, you'll be depressed. Allah forgive us. So what do you think? Wow, um, it's such an amazing, uh, what do you call this, words in there. But I was trying to find out about finding your true self. The connection between the title yeah, and the video. The, yeah, the title, yeah. I mean, I didn't really grab much, though not correlating that much, but uh, I just picked, pointed a few things in there. There's one thing that, um, um, uh, what's, what's the name? Mufti Meng. Yes, Mufti Meng said was um, saving one life is like saving the entire world or the humanity or something, the entire whatever thing. It makes a lot of sense because the thing is um, when you help one single person, it actually, um, what do you call this? It's, it, it's like a ripple effect towards the universe. You get it? So, the idea of you doing it, it, it actually, um, you're showing the universe 
that you can do it and the universe actually uh, throws back the same energy to you or other people out there you understand which I feel it's it's a it's a good thing you know just help one single person you don't have to help thousands of but people in this situation what you're trying to say is mm. like putting in good so you put in good yes, work and exactly. you're rewarded with good by yes, God exactly that's what I'm trying to say and also another thing was mentioned like about uh, complaining you know like those um, he was talking about people who were waiting for is it 10 days or 10 years or something but um, if you find yourself if, if, if you're really in that journey of trying to find your true self now I'm trying to connect the words he uh, he mentioned with the, with the with the title if you're trying to find yourself then you would really want to learn on how to be patient enough and how not to complain if you see things in an awkward situation first thing don't judge don't complain just look at it like it's just a normal kind of situation and find a way of trying to solve that particular thing we're in a world where we live in where every day we wake up we're trying to solve problems and try to make ourselves become more better and wiser and whatnot you understand so if you complain every day or every time you are actually depleting yourself from getting what you want so i think that's what i got from from the entire i was also going to say the same thing i was going to link mm -hmm. the title to the example that you've given the one given at the end mm -hmm. about making it in life yeah um for me it's about finding peace and faith mm, yeah you find peace that's when you stand by your faith peace in the sense that even if i see you with the new laptop it doesn't bother me that's your win yeah exactly. mine is going to come it's like accepting my situation okay right now i don't have this thing but i know someday god is going to pull through and things are going to turn around for me that's the faith now believing yeah, that yeah, things are going yeah, to switch up faith, yeah Otherwise, I feel like God at the end of the day will provide you with what you need. Yeah, I mean, look, at the end of the day, if you really focus on the truth, focus on who you are, make sure you do the right things, be also, righteous. Finding yourself, I feel like finding yourself just doesn't happen overnight. Maybe it does yeah. for one or two people, but it does. And then find, it, it really doesn't happen yeah. like that. And Trust then it's, it doesn't there's happen. ups and downs. Yeah, it does. You think now God has blessed you? boom biggest loss tomorrow Actually, so you have to be even when those things happen you have to prepare yourself mentally i think the quicker it comes the, the harder it falls the you faster know? yeah the faster it comes the harder you, you hit the place or maybe the faster it comes down the harder you fall so i feel like our wisdom comes with a lot of patience and a lot of um uh, not experiences okay experiences per se but more of of having patience having not to complain that much having to observe and learn listen you understand those are the most important thing and uh, I mean this this is a nice uh, talk or maybe discussion that anyone out there can just tell people and they may want to listen so and another thing we didn't touch upon is um, unity yeah, oh yeah, very, very That's important. That's very important. The mm. example you gave of Mufti Meng should focus on unity. So, yeah, things that you have to learn how to tolerate another person, help exactly. other people, not just because they are our own people, not because that person yeah. is black, I help them, because that person is white, exactly. I don't help them. If Does you, that make sense? He even mentioned if you, someone, if you see someone on an accident, yeah, it doesn't matter which color, it doesn't ma matter which religion, it doesn't matter which. Um, if he feels driving a Mercedes Benz or if, if, if he was driving a Toyota, it doesn't matter which gender or whatever that situation is. The moment you see the blood coming out of that person, even not blood, if, if it's just some, somehow injured, you know, or fractured, just try and go in there, that human conscience, you understand, like having conscience that someone is hurt, let me go and help, you know, instead of having that, that second thought of, ah, oh, you know what? Ah yes, he's hot, but he's not our own. So I'm not gonna go in there and, and help. That's a very very oxymoron type of thinking. You understand? I, I, and I feel 
if you're that kind of a person um the universe does not look at you the same way you understand it, it kind of just puts you aside you understand so i feel like it's very important to unite man people don't understand the 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 what do you call this how important it is when we come together like this and why oh my god all? we're gonna be like i don't know you don't understand it's gonna be something else the energy levels they're gonna be up there trust me anyway guys make sure to give this video a thumbs up share it with your friends and of course do not forget to subscribe if there's something that you guys want us to react to drop the link in the comment section below and we'll be more than glad to react to it you want to chat with us just drop your comment down below we'll be ready to respond back and see you in our next video thank you guys says